Hey YouTube, this is Donald and today I'm going to review or re-review a console that I already reviewed like last year. Um, and it's probably also one of the most popular consoles to be made called the PlayStation 3. Now, the PlayStation 3 is obviously an awesome console for its time, or for today, and and obviously the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 are going to be considered retro. Uh, reason being, the PS4 and the Xbox One became a success, making these consoles become obsolete soon. That doesn't mean the consoles are bad. It was really impressive and changed the way we game. It, the, X, the PlayStation 3 was released in 2006 and was the second console to introduce HD gaming. Rather than just throwing in a disc and playing your games, here you can do all the applications like pictures, music, play videos like on Netflix, Hulu, or YouTube or even watch movies with this thing. And it's kind of like a Blu-ray player. And it's one of the first consoles to have Blu-ray on a home console. <coughs> as, as a matter of fact, Sony, the company who made the PlayStation 3, invented Blu-ray. Anyway, let's take a look at the system. Here's the on and off touch button. It's not really a button, it's more like a touch technology. It's got Sony, it's got the word Sony next to it. It's got an eject touch technology. It's got an eject touch button, which is not really a button, it's more like a touch technology as well. It's got the PlayStation logo. Excuse me. Anyway, it's got two USB ports, just like the PS4. It's got some kind of, I don't know what this purpose of this thing is. It's got a Wi Fi signal thingy, light indicators. Oh, and there's a light indicator that. There's a green light indicator indicating if it's on or not. It lights up red if it's off, but it's switched, but it's switched on. It's similar to that of the P of the PlayStation 2, except this functions differently than the PlayStation 2 because there's no reset button. It's got a blue light indicator if that indicates if the game is in there or not. Here's the disc Blu-ray disc slot. And on top, it's got the PlayStation 3 logo. It says PlayStation 3 on top, as you can see. Um, I don't know what these vents are for. And it says on here, Blu-ray, DVD, ROM, Compact Disc, Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital Plus, DTS, and it utilizes Bluetooth and HDMI. And it's got a hard drive slot, I think. I think this might be some kind of expansion slot or a hard drive slot. Or whatever it is. This thing would come out and you have access to its hard drive or expansion thing, I think. I'm not sure. But it's got rubber feet underneath to give it a little gripping. Uh, but on the back, let me remove this.
Here's where the fan, is, cooling fan is. Here's the power socket, which is similar to that of a, of a projector's power socket. It's got an on. It's got a switch to switch it on or off. Here's the LAN port to plug it into a network cable. Here's the HDMI digital out. AV multi out. Now I must admit I don't have I don't have the AV cable with me at this point because I don't use AV outs anymore. I use HDMI. Though, though, in order to switch between AV out or HDMI, you'll have to either hold, you'll have to hold this button. Or this. You know what? I think you hold this down longer to either turn off the system or make it change to AV mode. But if you have the HDMI hooked up, you can switch to from AV mode to HDMI mode. Now, let me show you the cables that it comes with. Well, the HDMI is not included on the PS3, though. Here's the AC adapter, which is obviously pretty longer than the, than the PlayStation 4's AC adapter. It's got a very... Pr pr it's got a weird looking plug power AC adapter pin it's like a block or something that also can work on a projector I'm not sure and it's got the same power supply plug as the as some of those on on some tools of some sort power tools or some sort or some kind of long power cord for power tools. I'll show you the HDMI cable. Now this cable is kind of short. Kind of a bit shorter than the PS4's HDMI cable. But it's got the PlayStation logo on both sides. And the HDMI character and the HDMI Cables are easy to come by today. Places like Best Buy, because they're not really high demand now. Now, the PS3 used to be, and the Xbox 360 used to be like 720p high definition. But now it's 1080p high definition. That's what makes these things powerful than Nintendo hardware. I forgot to mention that in the Xbox 360 review. Enough about that. Here's the controller. This is a kind of similar, identical to the PlayStation 2 controller. Except the analog switch button is and the red light is missing. And it's replaced with a PlayStation logo button that boots the controller up. It's got an X square triangle and circle button. It's got a right analog stick that clicks and a right and the left one that clicks also. And it's got a select and sort. Oh, excuse me. It's got a D-pad. It's got R2 trigger, R2 bumper button. L2 trigger and an L1 bumper button. Let me remove this. This thing's another story. I'll explain what that does next time on another review. And it says here, and it says here, whoop, uh, when you press this button, that's what happens. It lights up, it flashes like that. Here's the word DualShock 3 controller. 
and it says uh, six axis. And it's got a USB connector, which is kind of proprietary. Which is a proprietary plug there. And as you can see, this thing has one, two, three, and four players, which means you can hook up up to four controllers on this thing without having to buy the multi-tap. Okay, well, I'm going to put this controller away. Just going to put this back on. You know what, I'll put it back on later. You know what, I'll put it back on later. Now to show you the games that I got with it. I got... Angry Birds Trilogy, which is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. And it uses the PlayStation Move controllers. But that's another story entirely. And it says PlayStation Move compatible, but that's another story entirely. I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which is... Which used to be one of the... Debatably one of the most popular Call of Duty games ever made. Call of Duty World at War, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Gran Turismo 5 Pro League, NASCAR 2011 The Game, Strange, it's made by Activision. You don't see that often. Ba Bajja Edge of Control, which is a Doom Buggy game. NASCAR 09, I mean EA Sports NASCAR 09, which is DualShock 3 compatible. Yeah, all PlayStation 3s are DualShock compatible. Three compatible. PlayStation All Stars Battle Royal, which is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. You can cross play with a PSP. Oh, speaking of which, you can hook up a PSP with this thing or the PS Vita with this thing. Either portable console made by Sony. Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. Call of Duty Black Ops, Gran Turismo 6, I like this game, I didn't play the whole thing, but yeah, this game, I definitely like, I didn't play, the, I didn't complete the game, but yeah, this is, and this happens to be a PlayStation 3 exclusive, anyway, about Black Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 2 was the game that made me buy, that made me own a PlayStation 3. Battlefield 4, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. My dad used to play this game when he had the system. He has another PS3 now. But he doesn't play this game anymore. He gave it to me. And I liked it as well. Battlefield 3 Premium Edition, Call of Duty Ghosts, and there's more games in my in my loft, but you guys might get the idea. I don't have any of the Grand Theft Auto games for the PlayStation 3, though. Not even Grand Theft Auto 5, I only have it on the PlayStation 4. But... There are some more PlayStation 3 games out there, but that you might get the idea, but but these are the ones I'm showing you that I liked the most. But anyway, I would like to say and I and dad, if you're watching this, 
I would like to say thank you for donating the PlayStation 3 to me because this video would have never been possible if it wasn't for him. But anyway, in conclusion, the PlayStation 3 is still an awesome game console even if it's going to discontinue soon. But if you're trying to own less consoles than But if you're a person that only wants to own one console, then go for either the PS4, or Xbox One, or the Wii U. Or the Nintendo Switch, which is coming out real soon. But if you like to collect awesome consoles, and if you want a new game console that you never had before, pick one of these consoles up. You can get them at places like eBay or Amazon or GameStop because they're not really high demand. Or maybe they are, I'm not sure if they're high demand or not. But anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and like the video. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. This is me, signing off.